copyright disclaimer. It's December the 5th, 2014. I want to thank my wife, Christy, who uh, sent this article to me. Very, very tough time of the year. Homeless for the holidays. Family gets one day to leave the Hazel Park. Rental. this is coming from uh, my Fox News. They have been ordered to leave by Friday after the city uh, tagged the Crabtree home on East Myers. The city's eviction notice said the house was not safe and when the family told the landlord, they said he laughed. Robert and Angela Crabtree uh, have three children, 15, 14, and eight years old and are wondering what they will do now. The family says the landlord will not repair damage caused by the August flood. They had to do this, Angela said. I see the issue, the liability. Water floated above the first floor, damaging the foundation. The landlord raised the house on jacks, and it fell off, cracking the walls. He stated uh, he'd rather started to repair certain things, Angela said, and then after jacking the house up five inches, he dropped the house while we were inside of it. That's when he stopped all work. No hot water, no working furnace and the crab trees are scrambling to move. Extra electricity, three space heaters since the middle of October, Robert said. On the top of that is the $900 deposit. The family is current with their rent payments and said the landlord will not return their $900 deposit. He basically told the city to something off, Robert said, uh, of the landlord. Fox 2 found the landlord's house in Shelby Township. Fox 2, did you know that the city of Hazel Park gave them 24 hours to vacate the property? It's unsafe to live there. The landlord's wife said he was not home and she was not sure when he would return. She turned the porch light off and walked away from the door. Homeless for the holidays. Let me play this video for all of you. Again, this comes from uh, Fox News in Detroit. for the holidays. And they've been ordered to get out by tomorrow. Fox News Ron Savage explains why. This is a heart-wrenching story. A family of five is moving out tonight. They didn't want to, but the city tagged their home, said it's not safe to live here. You have to be out by 12 noon Thursday. They said they told the landlord, and he laughed at them. A heavy dose of hard luck has hit the Crabtree family of five. Mom, dad, and three kids ages 15, 14, and 8. They say the city of Hazel Park is giving them 24 hours to vacate their rental home here on East Myers. They say the landlord will not repair the house badly damaged by the flood in August. So they had to do this. I see their issue and the liability. So the city's just giving you 24 hours to clear out? Yes. 24 hours to get the boots and boxes, furniture out, everything moved. Water flowed in above the first floor in August. The foundation was swamped out. They say the landlord raised the house on jacks and it fell off the jacks, cracking these walls. He started to repair certain things and then after jacking the house up five inches, he dropped the house while we were inside of it and that's when he stopped all work. No hot water, no working furnace. They're scrambling to find somewhere to move. Extra electricity, we're running three space here since middle October. On top of the $900 deposit. They say they're up to date on the rent payments and the landlord will not return their $900 deposit. What's this landlord say when you tell him you, you want to get your deposit back and you want him to step up and do the right thing? What's he tell you? He basically told the city of Hazel Park to uh, screw off. We found the landlord's home in Shelby Township. They're moving out and they didn't get their $900 deposit back. And they've got to be out by noon tomorrow. Did you know that Hazel Park, the city, told them they had to vacate the property? It's unsafe to live there? The landlord's wife said her husband was not home and she was not sure when he would return. She turned the porch light off and walked away from the door. We'll continue to track the Crabtree family's progress and check up on the status of their $900 security deposit. Ron Savage, Fox 2 News. Very, very heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, especially this time of of your homeless for the holidays hazel park detroit michigan keep this family lifted up in prayer that 900 dollars security deposit would get them in a, another home very sad 
uh, when we think we have it uh, rough and we have it so bad, there are many who are far, far worse off than we are. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel.